What's up, space family? If you're watching this right now, congratulations. You're living through one of the greatest moments in human history. In 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope just handed us the strongest evidence yet that a true second Earth actually exists. Not a maybe, not a hopeful candidate, a real rocky world with oceans, breathable air, perfect temperatures, and the first serious hints of biology beyond our solar system. Its name is T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T-1-E, and what Webb just discovered there is about to rewrite every textbook. So buckle up, hit that like button to feed the algorithm gods, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive straight into the biggest space story of the decade. Let's start with the moment everything changed. Back in 2017, a little red dwarf star 40 light years away shocked the world when astronomers found seven Earth-sized planets orbiting it, three of them smack in the habitable zone. The system was named TRAPPIST-1, and from day one, the fourth planet, TRAPPIST-1e, stood out as the most promising. Same size as Earth, same density, right distance from its star for liquid water. But we needed proof, real proof, not just educated guesses. That proof finally arrived in 2025. Over several months this year, James Webb locked its 6.5-meter golden mirror onto TRAPPIST-1e and collected more than 200 hours of priceless data using its NIRS-PEC and MIRI instruments. When the first results dropped, scientists didn't know whether to scream or cry. Here's exactly what they saw. First, a thick, stable atmosphere dominated by nitrogen and oxygen, proportions eerily close to what we breathe right here on Earth. Second, massive amounts of water vapor layered throughout that atmosphere, so much that global oceans are now considered almost certain. Third, surface temperatures averaging 15 to 18 degrees Celsius in the habitable twilight belt basically eternal spring weather. Fourth, carbon dioxide, methane, and other gases at levels that mirror Earth three to four billion years ago, right when life was exploding across our own planet. But the real bombshell came buried in the methane data. There is way more methane than geology alone can explain. On Earth, the overwhelming majority of methane comes from living organisms, microbes, plants, animals, you name it. When researchers ran the numbers for TRAPPIST-1e, the same biological fingerprint jumped out. It's not proof of life yet, but it's the strongest hint we've ever had from another world. The lead investigator, Dr. Nicole Lewis from Cornell, put it bluntly in the press release. TRAPPIST-1e isn't just Earth-like. Right now, it is the most Earth-like planet we have ever found. It checks every box and then adds a few we didn't even know existed. So why is this planet so special compared to the thousands of other exoplanets we've discovered? It's tidally locked, one face permanently lit by a dim red sun, the other in eternal darkness. But its thick atmosphere acts like a planetary heat engine, circulating warmth so efficiently that the entire surface stays in a comfortable range. The sunlight is redder than ours, so any vegetation would look black or deep purple to our eyes, absorbing those longer wavelengths like a boss. And because the star is small and cool, the habitable zone is ridiculously close, meaning all seven planets are packed tighter than the moons of Jupiter. It's like an entire solar system squeezed into the orbit of Mercury. Best of all, it's only 40 light years away. In galactic terms, that's practically our backyard. Future telescopes launching in the 2030s and 2040s will be able to take actual photographs of TRAPPIST-1e, resolve continents, clouds, maybe even city lights if anyone's home. And yes, the question burning in every comment section right now. Could humans actually live there one day? With chemical rockets, no chance. We're talking hundreds of thousands of years. But projects like Breakthrough Starshot are already designing laser-propelled nanoprobes that could reach the system in just 150 to 200 years, add nuclear fusion propulsion or future breakthroughs, and suddenly, multi-generational ships or even crewed missions start looking realistic. 
Trappist 1E just became the number one destination for humanity's first interstellar journey. We are no longer asking, is there another Earth out there? We are asking, when do we go? This is the moment our species grew up. For the first time, we are looking at a blue dot that isn't ours, and we can say with confidence, that world could support life as we know it, and maybe already does. More James Webb observations are scheduled for late 2025 and into 2026, specifically hunting for oxygen, ozone, and seasonal changes that only living ecosystems can produce. The next data drop could be the day we finally get the answer we've been chasing since we first looked at the stars and wondered if we were alone. So here's my challenge to you. In the comments right now, type one word, alive or EM.